Hey everyone! So Alan decided that he's going to do the challenge on uh, Nate's hat challenge. So I put all the numbers in this cup and he's going to pick. How many are you going to pick? Three or five? We'll go five. You're going to go five. Well, you have no clue how challenging these really are. Okay, so go ahead and pick. Uh, how challenging? One at a time. Nate picked four. Number 34, you can't use wood, so you're good. No birch board, then. Nope. Number, Number 57. 57, no orange. Oh, well, sorry, Trina. <laughs> Number 23, must stay really, really close to the painting, like really close, which means your head's going to be down here. Like this close? <laughs> you're going to have to like hover over it while you're painting it, but they still have to be able to see. Okay, next one is number 30. Number 30. Do you have someone to paint with? You must walk them through this painting process, but you can't see what they are doing, so blindfold yourself. So does that mean I blindfold myself? No, you have to make me paint for you. I think you, I think you should put that one back and redraw. You're allowed to do that. What if I pick it again? God, I hope not. Then we have to do it. <laughs> Number 60. Number 60. You must use black. So you can go ahead and put that out here. You must use black. Did you want one more? Let's yes, we on. can't use orange. So. <clears throat> Number 84. Okay, you must use Sophia Tone colors. So that means they're going to be your grays. Silver, gray, white. So this sounds like a Fifty Shades of Gray kind of painting. Kind of. So go ahead and put those back, and we're going to get you set up. So... Uh, we looked up sepia in Google and found out that it means a reddish brown color associated particularly with monochrome photographs of the 19th and early 20th centuries. So for the color choice that we're going to go, because part of the challenge was to use black, so we have our black here. We have Lucas Van Dyke Brown. We have Craftsmart Deep Bronze Metallic. For the reddish color, we have DecoArts Rose Gold. And we're going to finish off with Craftsmart Gold. Okay, I'm going to go with... What is that color over there on the end? That is Craftsmart Espresso Metallic. I would stick that in there too, in between the um, rose and the, in between those two. In between the gold and the rose gold. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and shake them up. I'm very happy that you're doing the challenge. <laughs> I never back down from a challenge. I'll remember that. <laughs> Nate better remember that. So what are you doing? Flip cups or dirty pour or what? I am going to do a f flip and drag. And what's your base going to be? My base is going to be the white canvas with a little white on the 
to make sure it floats a little. It's all you. It's a challenge, right? Right. Didn't say you couldn't use white. Did not say I couldn't use white. I need a little more than that. In that corner especially. There you go. And yes, you did not wipe that off last time. I had a heck of a time opening that jar. You're welcome. <laughs> I have a bucket full of containers that I need to clean this weekend. Yeah, we do. Along with a ceiling to get painted. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Get my cuppy hands going, get this paint across the canvas. Just tilt it, let it run off. Oh, I don't want to waste paint. You don't want to leave too much on there either, though. Not with a flip and drag. I'm just glad I didn't pick the one that said, use a paintbrush. <laughs> Or a root applicator, because you would have had to go out to the bucket. <laughs> or do it blindfolded. I don't know if that's one of the challenges. I think it's having the other person do it blindfolded and you have As to you tell. described. Yeah. We'll have to clarify that one with Nate. Since this is every Friday for the month of October. Oh, you have to walk them through the painting process, but you can't see what they are doing. So you blindfold yourself and tell them what to do. I'm glad we put that one back. <laughs> that would be an hour long video. Anybody that knows and watches me on Monday nights knows I'm not the uh, quickest at this. So are you going to like put a lot of paint on the canvas, Alan, or are you just going to do a mild flip and drag? Uh, we are going to see. Because I'm still learning how to judge my amount of paint to be put into my flip cups. I've only done, I think, two so far. I'm just glad we found some gloves that fit you. <laughs> yes, notice. No reservoirs. <laughs> so. That's a five ounce. Okay, so we're going to go with a five ounce. I guess we're at first. That's a good idea. I'm glad you're here to help with the challenge. I'm, I'm just, just coaching you on. I'm just going to spray it right over the canvas. No, you're not. Okay, so we're going to start off with our black. Followed by the Lucas Van Dyke Brown. Then the Craft Smart Deep Bronze Metallic. Followed by Deco Arts Rose Gold. Craft Smart's Espresso Metallic. And finally, Craft Smart Gold. That's a lot of paint. That is a lot of paint. That's a big canvas, though. No. 11 by 14. <laughs> okay. Now, hopefully, 
uh, I have better results than my last flip cup, which I missed the canvas partially. <laughs> and I lost some of the paint off to the edge. That's okay. I am going to poke a hole. I, I looking, saw you reach for it. I was looking for the poker. You use the thumb tap. That works good too. That's what I was trying to get. The new cups that I bought actually are thinner, so it's easier to poke a hole. There we go. All right. Go for it, Alan. Too bad you had to use that black, huh? But it'll be a good contrast. Just move it around a little. Let's shimmy it a little. And black is becoming pretty. The camera is not shaking. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a, it's your little disclaimer. You sure it wasn't me that was shaking? I don't know. Are you shaking? Are you scared? I am not scared. I am not nervous. As Mike would say, you got this. Mike would say, I am proud of you. <laughs> do have a lot of paint on the canvas. That's okay. You can get rid of what you don't want that way. It is pretty though. It's too bad you have so much black. You might want to try to take some of that black off of there a little bit. Adios, mi amigo, as the black falls off the edge. There's so many pretty cells in there, though. Black loves metallics. So I got lucky with my draws. You sure did. And I like that he has that you can put one back and redraw if you don't want to do the other one. I'll try to bring some of that rose gold back to the center. I think you did a great job. Not crazy about this edge over in here where I did the flip. But that's more like the sepia, though. Sepia be gone. <laughs> but that was your challenge. I hope we get a bunch of YouTube artists that will join in on the fun next week. I have to admit, I was a little reluctant in doing this at first, but one of the things it does is it opens your 
imagination and gives you some challenges that you wouldn't normally probably do and some color combinations that you probably wouldn't normally do. Oh, too. yeah, for sure. Yeah. So good job, Nate. I'm going to torch this, but I'm going to take my gloves off first and I just got paint. You're okay, though, because we covered the rug. <laughs> I've already initiated the rug, so... I'll, I'll get it when you're done. I'm going to torch it a little. See if we can drop any more cells. Get those air bubbles out. close up before we take it to the drying rack. We should have bought a case of these gloves because the way I'm doing it. We got two more boxes yesterday. The more challenges I the take more on, you paint. The, the more, more I need. paint, <laughs> the more gloves I'm gonna need. Let's give you a close up. Let me wipe the edges a little underneath. It's a dead mosquito. And here is the sepia challenge. Good job, Al. So, again, as Tina has said, for those of you who haven't joined joined the challenge yet for Fridays, please uh, consider it. It's something that will open your mind and uh, make you things that, think of some things that you wouldn't normally think of. So, uh, if you haven't clicked below uh, for subscribe, please uh, click on the button. Um, you can send messages to Christina Welch Art. Um, do not forget to order your stone coat uh, with the uh, CWA uh, discount code, all in caps. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.